the text tool can create three types of text object. The first, select the text tool, click anywhere on the page and start typing. This creates a simple text line object. You can press the return key, but if you keep typing it will create a long line that goes off the page to the right. The second type of text object is a text column. If you click and drag on the page, you drag out a column width indicator. Now when you type, the text is limited to this column width. A great shortcut for adding some text quickly is to press Ctrl Shift L. Remember L for Latin, as this adds paragraphs of pseudo Latin, like this. In columns of text, you can drag either end of the column marker, like this, and the text flows to fit the column width. The third type of text object is a text block. If you click on the background and drag diagonally, you create a text frame or block. Now when you enter your text, it's confined to this rectangular area. When it flows out of the bottom of the box, the overflow text is shown in grey and this overflow indicator is shown. The status line also usefully tells us how many words have overflowed, as well as giving a total word and character count for this text object. To find out more about text flow between text boxes, see the help. You can resize text in two ways. Using the selector tool, you can resize the whole text object in the usual way. Go into the selector tool and drag on the corner handle like this. This also works on text columns and single blocks of text. Or you can resize text the word processor way. In the text tool, drag select some text. Now on the text tool info bar, you can adjust the size, either by selecting from the size menu or you can use this pop-down slider to get any size up to about 40 pixels. Or you can just enter a value here. And although web font sizes are usually specified in pixels, you can enter any unit you like. For example, I can enter one centimeter.